Good morning, guys. It's an open elevator. <laughs> what time is it? Oh. And it's an empty open elevator. That's great. Uh, yeah. It's 8.50 here on Friday morning. It's a sea day. Today is the last full day on the boat. I'm sad. To the obstacle course. We are going to the obstacle course with the Baker family. They're not here yet. Well, I don't know. They could be up here. We're not there yet. Anyways, and then we'll probably go catch some breakfast. So I'll talk to you guys here in a little while. side of me and we just got out of a workshop the mandolin workshop was great and then we had like an up close and personal time I guess with pops um, from Goldwing Express and it was very enlightening like I found out a lot more about their family than I thought I knew so that was really cool so now we're eating lunch and we ordered a ton of food we're so hungry though we've been up since eight we um, did this, the obstacle course and that was so much fun thanks to the Baker family for doing it with us that was really really fun anyway so here's all of the food that we have like and then the bread and then oh, look at this Dish. Dish. Awesome. Yeah. So anyways, just wanted to show you a little bit of um, brunch here. So I'm going to get up and eat my food and then get ready for Hawaiian day. Today is Hawaiian day so I'm super excited. And what's funny is I just now said we were getting ready for Hawaiian day and the camera wasn't even on Nicole and she started dancing and singing. <laughs> anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. on the Carnival Magic for this cruise. I'm so sad, it's already over. What are your thoughts? It flew by. It really did. It absolutely flew by. It was a really, it's been awesome. Yeah, it was a really nice vacation. It's Hawaiian night. Yeah, we don't look anything like Hawaiian. We have flowers, so we're gonna look like Dad and Mom, however. They, they got it. They got it. They got it. We don't. But we're gonna bring bacon. Yeah. Um, anyways, I have a headache and I can't wait to eat. <laughs> and the sun is out finally this evening. It's not been out like in the evening at all the past week. And so the sun was out all day and now it's setting and it's so pretty. We're on our way back to Florida right now. Where are we? Uh, I don't know. I know we're getting back to Florida at 5 a.m. Yeah, so, so we got a while. I am not excited to see all the craziness that's going to happen when we get there. Um, also, the she went to a dodgeball tournament and I went to... I almost kicked butt, except my entire team got out. Yeah. I was at the mandolin workshop. That was a lot of fun. It was really, really fun. I liked it a lot. To all you guys on my team, if you see this, you broke my heart. 
this close to the trophy. Anyway, I missed the competition, but oh well. <laughs> and I'm sorry. So after that, um, there was a dance party on the Lido deck, deck 10, and they did a bunch of line dancing and it was really crowded. I hope they fix that next time. They needed to scoot the chairs out. They, they really did. did. I was really surprised. Anyways, and I got to take a selfie with Dr. E. Which will be inserted here. Oh, and we got to, the reason they had the dance competition was to raise money for St. Jude. Yep, room for St. Jude. Yeah, we both bought a t-shirt and a bracelet. Here's the bracelet. Anyhow, I'm going to get off here and get ready to eat my dinner with, and we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it's the last night that we're dancing on the ship at dinner time and I'm so excited! Oh. Yay! I introduce to you the man behind the scene, the man who is making everything possible regarding the food, our carnival magic chef, Chef de Cuisine Santos, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the last time, your wait staff prepare a special dance for you. The best thing from the seven seas, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Corinne, where you at? Woo! Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, what's up, girl? Come on up here. Come on, come on. Look at you with the dress. You better do it. Look at this. What's your name? Karina. Karina. Karina, Karina. I loved your movie. That's nice. <laughs> and I love this dress. How, did you make this? How did you get this? Um, I got it at the mall. Got it at the mall. Okay, nice. It's a good story. <laughs> I remember that. I went to the mall. And who's this guy behind you? He's creeping up on you. Brother. Brother, okay, cool. Uh, hey, bro, come on up here. I didn't know she had, you know, backup. What's your name? Trusted. Trusted. All right. Tr trusted. Trusted. You heard that? That was for the little boys out there trying to take a sister. Hey, it's trusted. That's right. <laughs> Don't be looking at my sister's address. Don't be looking at her. Okay. All right. And how old are you, Grant? 15. 15. All right. Nice. 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 And you, I love your hair. Who did you? Did Trusted do your hair? No. Oh, okay. She was like, no, I won't let him touch it. Okay. All right, well, you know, um, ladies and gentlemen, Tristan, uh, where are you from again? Uh, Birch Tree, Missouri. Birch Tree, Missouri, all right. Uh, she's going to start us off uh, with the national anthem. So if you all please would rise. Oh, say, can you see by the dumpster what so precious?
They made your real boots. The boots is passed down generation, generation of boots right there. Ain't no way you're gonna be singing like that with them generation of boots on, girl. Give it up for her now. She didn't do it. That was excellent, excellent time, man. That was, that was real good. I was thoroughly excited, thoroughly excited. this morning I really don't know what time it is I know it's after 12 there is wind and rain but it's not too scary and there's lightning off in the distance and it's very beautiful um, one of the nights I was on the back deck looking down at the water and I was looking up at the stars and I saw a shooting star and that was really really cool but anyways there's been lightning all over the place it's really really beautiful the shows tonight were amazing. The talent show was awesome. It was really, really cool. It's been a wonderful day. The sun was out. We got to see the sunset. Um, it was just beautiful. I got to play on the jam thing today. It was a little bit awkward at first, but I had a, a lot of fun. Thank you. I believe her name was Charlie. She is the fiddle player for Flat Lonesome. And I just want to thank you for also Pooh Bear, you know, thank you for, you know, encouraging me to get up there, but Charlie, thank you for bringing me to your side of the stage and, um, getting me to play more. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so shy this week. I, I, out of my comfort zone, really? I don't, I don't 
don't know what it was, but anyways, thank you guys. I didn't go to the jam session tonight because I was spending time with the Baker family. It's been a wonderful vacation and I'm so incredibly happy and it, I am crying again. Can you believe it? Anyways, it's been a wonderful cruise. I feel so attached to everyone here. Like, part of my heart is going to be ripped out and like stuck here for the rest of forever. <laughs> but it's been it's been a great cruise. I want to thank our servers at dinner time, Ivica, Melissa, and Somchai. You guys are awesome. And you made us feel really special every time we came to dinner. So thank you guys for being such great servers. Um, and I hope you guys get to see this video. And I hope we get to stay in contact because this was an awesome, awesome experience. And I got, even though you guys were working all of the time, I got to share it with you and it was wonderful. I don't even know what to talk about. It's just... I'm not tired, but I'm ready to go to bed, but the sooner I go to bed, the sooner we have to leave, and I don't want to leave, and, you know, it's one of those things, but, yeah, it's been an awesome cruise. All of the bands were amazing. It was great getting to meet and see all of you. It was just a really good night, and I'm so glad that I finally got to come on this cruise, and enjoy myself. It's been a wonderful vacation. I've already started thinking about my lesson plans for the rest of the week and I'm like, nope, I'm not thinking about that until we hit West Virginia. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, I want to enjoy myself on the very last night. Um, yeah, anyways, my heart is overflowing with joy. God has blessed this trip so much. And it was really cool, one of the nights, I think it may have been Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, no, it wasn't Thursday, it was Wednesday. Maybe Tuesday, I don't know. It was one night this week, but anyways. It was really clear out, there wasn't any clouds. I think it was about 1.30, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was on the deck 5 at the very back of the ship. And I was just watching the water, watching the stars, and it hit me about how wonderful God is and how merciful He is and how easy it is to believe and how plain and simple He made it for us to believe. I mean, you can't look out in, if you're in the middle of the ocean and, and you see all of the vastness that's underneath of you and, and you see the sky and, and the beautiful clouds and you see the waves in the water, you can't say that there is no God because he created all of that. It didn't just happen. And it's such, it was such a wonderful feeling and me and, me and Jesus had a really good talk for about an hour that night. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I've been up here for longer than I should be. <laughs> but anyways, I um, just wanted to film one last video before all of the craziness happens tomorrow. I'll probably try to get some of that on film. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyways, it's been a wonderful cruise. But I'm happy to get home. So everyone, I love you so much and I am going to miss you so much and I can't wait to see all of you again. It will be wonderful. Um, so I guess on that note, I'm going to bed. Good night.